Imagine you're floating in the deep blue waves of the Pacific, surrounded by nothing but endless ocean. Your heart is pounding in your chest as you explore the underwater world beneath you. The sun is reflecting off the water's surface. The corals at the seabed are glowing in all imaginable colors. You see colorful fish darting between the corals. But then, there's something else. Something that glides through the water like a ghost. Your breath catches. A sea snake. Venomous, dangerous, and deadly. But don't panic. Welcome to today's episode where we'll teach you how to survive such a situation. In this episode of How to Survive, Surviving Highly Venomous Sea Snakes. Step 1. Getting to know the dangerous sea dwellers. Dive with us into the shimmering yet ruthless underwater world, where a wealth of breathtaking creatures reside, astounding us and yet striking fear into our hearts. Today we're focusing on one particular species, the sea snakes. These creatures are both fascinating and dangerous. There are approximately 70 different species of sea snakes, and while all are venomous, their toxins vary greatly in potency. Some species possess a venom that is many times stronger than that of any cobra or rattlesnake. But it's not just their deadly venom that makes them remarkable. Sea snakes are completely adapted to life in the ocean. They have flattened bodies shaped like fins to glide through the water. Their long, slender bodies, similar to a whip, enable them to make lightning-fast movements, and they can even stay underwater for up to an hour without taking a breath. But however enticing these facts might be, don't be deceived. These deep-sea dwellers are not to be underestimated. But don't worry. In this episode, we'll show you how to encounter them and, more importantly, how to survive. Step 2. Distribution Areas of the Venomous Sea Snakes As we embark on this journey to encounter these fascinating but dangerous creatures, we first need to know where to find them. The home of the sea snakes primarily spans the warm, tropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, but one must be cautious as their exact habitats can vary greatly. Some species prefer the open sea, while others can be found near coral reefs or in mangrove forests. In the Indian Ocean, we mostly find them in the coastal waters of South Asia, off India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. In the Pacific, however, their range extends from the coast of Japan, through the Philippines and Indonesia, down to Australia and even New Zealand. Did you know that some sea snake species even live in rivers and can penetrate up to 100 kilometers inland? No wonder then that sea snake bites are not uncommon in these areas. But don't worry, we'll show you exactly what you need to do to stay safe. Step 3. Behavior and Signs of Impending Danger now that we know where to find these stealthy sea dwellers, it's time to understand their behavior. Sea snakes are by nature rather shy and avoid contact with humans. But as with any animal, it's important to know their body language and behaviors in order to recognize potential dangers. The first signs of a possible threat are unusual movements. If a sea snake is moving in an atypical manner, this can be a sign that it feels threatened. For example, if it coils up, raises its head, or makes quick zigzag movements. It's also important to know that sea snakes often fear us more than we fear them. Therefore, it's best to remain calm and not try to touch or disturb them. However, if you unluckily encounter an aggressive sea snake that wants to attack you, it's important to know how to respond. But don't worry, we'll cover that in the next step. Stay tuned, as knowledge can be your best ally when dealing with these venomous sea dwellers. But hold on, before we continue, we have something special for you. There's a product that can be a lifesaver in a situation with a venomous sea snake. Curious? We thought so. To find out what it is, click on the link in the video description below. Don't wait, check it out now. Trust us, it's worth it. Now let's get back to the video. Step 4. Survival Techniques When in Contact with Sea Snakes Here we are at the heart of the matter. What do you do if you come face to face with a sea snake? Well, as previously mentioned, sea snakes are by nature rather shy and prefer to avoid confrontations. But what if you encounter one that's not so reticent? First of all, stay calm. Quick or sudden movements can scare the snake and provoke an attack. Stay still and try to move slowly and calmly away from the snake. Under no circumstances should you try to touch or catch the snake. And remember, the calmer you are, the less likely it is that the snake perceives you as a threat. If you're in the water, try to swim slowly to the surface and move away from the area. If you're on the shore, move away from the snake slowly and quietly and leave the area. But what if the unthinkable happens and you get bitten? Stay tuned, we'll clear that up in the next step. This knowledge could save your life. Step 5. Emergency measures in case of a sea snake bite. Now, to the moment we've all hoped would never happen. A sea snake bite, but don't worry. Even in this terrifying moment, you can greatly increase your chances of survival if you act correctly. Here are the steps you should follow. First, stay calm. I know it seems almost impossible in such a situation, 
but it's important to keep your heart rate low to slow the spread of the venom in your body. Second, don't try to suck the venom out of the wound. This is a widespread misconception that can cause more harm than good. Sucking the venom can lead to venom intake in the mouth and the wound can get infected from sucking. Third, call for help immediately. You need medical assistance and the sooner the better. While you wait, try to keep the bitten limb below heart level to slow the spread of the venom. Lastly, give a precise description of the snake. The more information the doctors have, the more effectively they can help you. Stay tuned, we're almost at the end. We hope you never have such an emergency, but if you do, you're now better equipped to handle it. Step six, getting help and correct treatment after a bite. We've made it, we're at the last step. After a sea snake bite, it's now about getting medical help as quickly as possible and having the bite treated correctly. The time after a sea snake bite can be crucial. As soon as you're able to call for help, do it. Whether you have a satellite phone, a mobile phone, or you can alert others nearby, notify emergency rescue immediately. Wait for help at a safe distance from the snake. The snake that bit you could still be nearby. Stay calm and avoid unnecessary movements. Once medical help arrives, the experts will likely administer an anti-venom, a medication that helps to neutralize the toxic effects of the snake bite. And that's it, friends. The steps to survive a sea snake bite. It's never a pleasant thought to get into such a situation, but with the right knowledge and the will to stay calm, you can master the situation. Stay safe out there. Step 7. Preventive measures and safety in the sea. Being in the open sea is an adventure, but every adventure also carries risks and one of the dangers in tropical seas are sea snakes. But how can you prevent a bite and move safely in the sea? First, know your terrain. Are you in an area where sea snakes are native? Educate yourself before your trip to the sea to be prepared. Second, observe your surroundings. Sea snakes are often hard to spot as they can camouflage well in the water and among corals. Stay vigilant. Third, keep your distance. If you spot a sea snake, maintain a safe distance. Sea snakes are usually not aggressive, but they can feel threatened and bite in defense. Fourth, wear appropriate protective clothing. A wetsuit can provide some protection against sea snake bites as the teeth might not be able to penetrate the thick material. And that's it, guys. It's always better to avoid a snake bite than to be prepared for it. Always remember, prevention is better than cure. Stay safe and enjoy experiencing the ocean. Until next time. If you now want to know how likely it is that Putin will drop a nuclear bomb on Germany, then click on this episode here right now.